Okay, in this talk, we want to speak to uh, resource development and the concepts of uh, stewardship and conservation. Um, in today's world, people that are, have very strong feelings about the environment, call them ecologists, environmentalists, whatever, environmental activists, they tend to oppose any and all development of natural resources throughout the world whether these are the in, in the extractive industries like coal, oil, gas, mining, or if they're, you know, in terms of building um, hotels, shopping centers, you know, housing tracks, whatever. Um, they seem to oppose any and all development, not believing that uh, development of the world's resources and construction projects can be done in an environmentally and socially responsible way. We do have the technology now in the year 2017 to, uh, to do a lot of these things and still protect the environment. I mean, you think about the reg regulations for oil companies and mining companies with any projects they do, the environmental studies they do, the governmental red tape at national and provincial and local levels throughout the world, you know, wherever the projects are located that they have to deal with. Uh, years of lead time, to get approvals and have all these people, all these different uh, bureaucrats and the government sign off on their projects. Um, I can only say this, we have the technology to develop the world's resources in an, in an environmentally responsible way. And stewardship and conservation are old concepts. So let's not yield the moral higher ground to the environmental fanatics that don't want any development. Stewardship and conservation means you don't trash the planet for future generations and you conserve the resources because we do live in a world of scarce resources. There's only so many minerals in the ground. There's only so much oil. We don't waste it. We protect the environment, don't trash the environment, and don't squander the, the natural resources. We develop them and use them responsibly. And that can be done and it is, be done, is being done by companies in the private industry, private sector throughout the world. Is there a need for government environmental protection legislation and oversight? To be sure, because there's always going to be a small percentage of companies that may abuse the environment and sh take shortcuts and not do things responsibly. Okay, for the small percentage that will act unethically and irresponsibly, we've got legitimate government oversight, and that's fine. But these eco-fanatics that sit there and protest and, and file needless lawsuits and oppose any and all development, that's wrong. Stewardship and conservation are concepts that go back literally thousands of years. We have the technology to develop the, the planet, the, extract the resources in, in an environmentally responsible way. We shouldn't put up with these groups that just uh, oppose and delay and stymie any and all development, any and all extraction of resources throughout the world. We can't all live in thatched huts and cook over dung fires. Okay, think about that. Thank you.